Well, we told you last week the average price of a home in the district surpassed $1 million. And, you know, despite this sky-high price, buyer demand is still high. Our Bruce Johnson talked with a local real estate expert about this trend. We're going to bring in Corey Burr. He's with Sotheby's International Realty, longtime real estate professional here in the D.C. market. Corey, good seeing you again. Hello, Bruce. How do you explain this bull market and how long can it last? Well, a bull market of this type only happens about six or seven times a century. And this is the second one since 2000. The first being from about 2002 to 2006. They come about every 16 years. So I think this has some more legs to it, maybe another couple of years. Okay. Interest rates helping drive this, no doubt? No question. It reminds me a lot about how the country was after 9-11. Rates were kept down to keep the economy from going into recession. And that just means incredible leveraging power for qualified buyers. I'm hearing a, a number of things. Uh, multiple offers on, on, on a single property. Uh, also hearing that properties are not staying on the market very long, correct? Exactly right. The days on the market in the district, for example, the average is under nine days. That's just incredible. It's unheard of. Uh, last week, there was an example of a property having 22 offers in Tacoma Park. This is an ideal time for people who have been waiting for a good market to make a lifestyle change. Uh, maybe they're older, maybe the house is too big for them, whatever. This is the time to do it. This is the time to sell. But when you talk about the average cost of a house, a million dollars, what about below that, the markets below that? First time home buyers, people trying to move up from that first time house, what are they finding out there? Well, amazingly, what's happening, apart from what the Biden administration might do with student loans, what we're seeing is many lenders are ha have loan programs that will forgive certain amount of student debt in return for taking on a mortgage. And this is like the weight of the world being lifted off of uh, those folks who are primarily in their mid and late 20s. And it gives them a great avenue to buy. Corey Bohr, as usual, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Great information. My pleasure. Man.